Good morning, friends. Welcome to Coffee Cup Conversation. It is Monday, October 12th, and I want to start out by saying thank you to Elise for a great job blessing us last week with your thought, your neat mug from China, and um, I really enjoyed that. So hopefully we'll be hearing from some other friends um, in the future, <clears throat> but today it's me. And I love, I was thinking about the fall, and I just love this time of year, especially in Pennsylvania. We lived in Georgia, we lived in Colorado, and they're beautiful states. But I have to say, Pennsylvania in September and October, November, it's like my favorite. It just makes me feel a sense of home. There's such beauty here with all the leaves and the pumpkins, and people do such pretty displays on their front porches, the mums. So I love it. And it was making me think about a mug that I have that I wanted to share with you today. So this is part of, this is my mug um, from Katie and Zach actually found it at a thrift shop. Um, but it's part of the Nature Wood series with Faltzgraf, which is the pattern that I have. And when Jonas and I were married, um, we were so young and we didn't have two nickels to rub together. So we got a lot of hand-me-downs and we got a dish set for my brother and his wife, Miriam. And we used that for a long time. And I thought as the years rolled on and I never had got, you know, gotten to pick a pattern that I really liked, I thought I'm gonna wait until I find the one that I love. And we were married nine years and finally I saw it in a magazine, the pattern that I loved and it was this nature wood pattern. And I loved it because it was very outdoorsy. There's like leaves and all kinds of um, gardening tools and birdhouses and little spade, little country signs. And so I just loved it and I still love it. So we have enjoyed our dishes for a long time. And I really love this mug because it holds a nice amount of coffee versus their teacups. So today I wanted to talk to you about harvest and about not becoming weary as moms and dads, um, as believers in what we're doing and why we do what we do. So I, I wanted to start out and read from Galatians 6. <clears throat> um, let's see, the whole chapter is really good, but of course this is a five minute video, so I'm trying to keep it snappy. Um, so, Verse 9, I'm going to start with verse 9, Galatians 6, 9. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, <clears throat> especially to those who belong to the family of believers. So, you know, each day as we're living life um, with our little family, and we're all, as, as Christian moms and dads, we're trusting that our children are gonna grow up and realize that they need Jesus in their life. Maybe some of them have already begun a relationship with Jesus. But we have the opportunity every day to impact and to do good to all people, especially to this little family of believers that we're having the opportunity, we've, God's invested them to us, to raise, to bring them up in the ways of the Lord in how to be kind people and to love others. So I know though that sometimes it just gets wearisome and it's easy to feel like giving up. So maybe on this Monday morning, you're feeling a bit like giving up, throwing in the gardening glove. And so I wanna say to you this morning, don't give up. You can do this. God's word tells us we can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. That verse, it's, it's like a good thing to hit repeat in our mind is to rehearse that and to go over it and realize it. Like we do get weak, we do get tired. And when you think about some of the examples of you know working in a garden and planting your seeds and pulling weeds and caring for it, it gets exhausting, but it gets so exciting when you start to see the fruit of your labor and it's, you know, maybe it's a tomato plant or maybe it's just a pretty flower that you planted and cared for all summer. But there's something so satisfying about pulling off that tomato 
or cutting off a fresh flower arrangement and putting it on your table. And every time you look at it or when you slice into that delicious tomato, it just is such a neat reminder of something that you were able to be a part of and see it to completion, to see that, that that tomato grew and you were able to eat it and enjoy it. Same with the flower. And so our children are the same way. We bring them into the world, God blesses us with them, and then we care for them and we you know, help to pull weeds and we help to nourish them, water them, get enough sunshine. All the things that you do day in and day out to care for your little seedling, your little plant that's beginning to blossom, you're starting to see potential and don't give up. It will be worth it in the end. And you know what? I don't know really in this lifetime if we'll ever hit the end because our parenting job never is finished till the day we go until be with Jesus. But um, it changes the way we care for uh, what God has entrusted to us. It does change and what how we pour into them makes a difference. So today, whether it is you're helping them with their schoolwork or you're trying to do a little music class, you're taking them outside to get a little fresh air and exercise, whatever it, whatever it is, just ask Jesus to help you be present and to do the best that you can. Be genuine, show your love for Jesus, show your love to your kids. Remember to say, I'm sorry if you, you know, drop drop the tool that you need for that moment pick it back up talk to your kids let them know that you have weak moments too but that's why you need jesus and and he is the chief gardener we know so uh, be encouraged today and know that i'm always available if you ever need someone just to talk with or to pray with i would love that you're not alone sometimes it feels like you're alone so press in press on and enjoy, look for the fruit of your labor this week. Look for ways that your kids bless your heart and you see them growing and blossoming into who God has made them to be. And I pray the same for you. Have a great day.